everybody welcome to the video surprise of the day today's video surprise is how to fix the roller on the screen door before you get started please remember to hit the subscribe button the bell icon when you be notified new videos and i really appreciate that thumbs up thank you very much in advance hey folks today we're going to talk about how to change the roller on a screen door so i'm going to show you the old rollers that came with this particular screen door. And I'm not sure you could probably install this on a regular screen door as well. So the rollers are rusted out, you can see. So it's hard to move and hard to turn. Yes, you can oil it a little bit, but I don't think you get too far. So I went ahead and pulled down the screen door already. And um, I'm just gonna change it. I did one roller, you can see that over there. I'm gonna do this one in particular. So this is a screen door roller and it's available, of course, at Amazon and also at Lowe's as well. So the the one I've purchased actually is for Amazon. So then you put the screw back in like this over here. Also learned that don't want to screw all the way in. I actually had to adjust that when I put the screen door back into um, the unit. So that's something that I want to note. But notice that the, the screw goes all the way through. It's holding the roller, right? There's other types that I tried, not as good as this one in particular. So notice that the hole is over here on the bottom, all right? Because we have this at an angle and the opening is where the roller is gonna be. So this is the replacement roller and it's pretty sturdy. I think it'll last a while before I start rusting again, but time will tell. So notice there's some uh, action there in terms of like compression and such, right? Springy action, that's the right word. So next you wanna take this roller and also feed it into the bottom of the screen door. So, and try to align it with the opening. Of course, it's hard to do holding the camera right here. You see the opening with the hole? So you wanna match that hole. So it's easier to do if you had to screw out. I can tell that from experience. You don't have to screw out. You probably can aim, but it's a little bit harder to see because there's no light, you know, but you know, then again, you know, if you could do it with the screw still inside uh, on the end of the, the screen door, that'd be great. So I'm just gonna force it in right here. Of course, you could gently wiggle back and forth to get it in as well. So it really depends how you, your method is in particular. So once you have that, try to align it with the hole. I'm aligning it with the hole. Unfortunately, I don't have a good view of that on the camera. Apologize for that. But you can see that I'm gonna show you it's gonna be aligned. So once they align, you know, with the W and everything, you can see the little light. You see that it's through the hole. Let me show you again over here. Let me get closer. There it is. So you see the light through it. Yeah, you're aligned right now. So that that's all to it. Just feed it in, wiggle it until it's aligned, until you see that hole in particular. Once you see that hole, then you could put the, the Phillips. Uh, screw back in right there it is right so very simple fix will save you the money in buying a new screen door also save you some time so you know you don't have to drive there or have somebody drive there and bring it back so like I mentioned and once I learned when I did it you don't want to put the screw too deep in because you know you have to adjust that so the next thing you probably want to do after this is basically clean the bottom portion of the ruler over here. Yeah, assuming your top one isn't dirty. So you just clean it. There's a lot of debris. There's a lot of, seems to be a lot of sand or dirt, wherever it is. Clean all the way through. So you know, makes a nice rolling action when you start moving the, the screen door. So that's a simple fix if, to your screen door. Uh, to put it in, I do want to mention that you want to feed the top first, way on the top, feed into the gap over there, then slide the bottom in, but you want to loosen that a little bit as needed and use a flathead screwdriver to guide it in to the rails on the bottom. And uh, it's easier to say it than film that part. So once you finish, this is the work. So everything's moved. Easy open, easy close. Hopefully you liked this video. I really appreciate a thumbs up. Hopefully it saved you some money. Please leave a comment below if it helps others. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.